Hey, trying something new today. I'm gonna to read a page out of this amazing book, Reaching Beyond, um, a conversation of President Ikeda with two of my mentors, Herbie Hancock and Wayne Shorter, the late Wayne Shorter and the late President Ikeda. It's so crazy that we've lost those two in this living world and that they're on. Maybe they're back by now. Maybe they're taking their time. The world's kind of crazy. I would take my time a little bit before coming back, but actually Wayne did say before he passed, that um, you know, when he, when he knew he was gonna die, he said, it looks like I need a new body <laughs> to continue my mission. <laughs> so uh, he's probably back by now. Anyway, um, President Ikeda said, I've I just kind of like read a little bit through here and picked a passage that I really want to read. In this conversation, Ikeda, in talking to Herbie Hancock says, um, indeed, the color of your playing is vivid and distinctive. Nietzsche speaks, oh wait, maybe he was talking to Shorter, actually, was he talking to Shorter? Yeah, he was talking to Wayne Shorter, the color of your playing, that's the tone of his, of his sound. Indeed, the color of your playing is vivid and distinctive. Nietzsche speaks of each thing, the cherry, the plum, the peach, and damson, in its own entity, without undergoing any change, OTT uh, 200. In other words, the cherry, the plum, the peach, and the damson withstand the winter cold to each bloom gloriously with distinctive flowers. They're not envious or resentful of other flowers. They each bloom in their own unique way, true to their nature. All human beings possess, all human beings also possess a life worthy of supreme respect. Our task is to make our lives shine their brightest and bring our unique noble mission in fullest flower. Further, we need to respect, to learn from, and encourage one another, expanding a flower garden of happiness and joy. This is the world of the mystic law. As a Japanese poet, poet once expressed it, we're all different, all wonderful. Um, this actually is very reflective on something that Herbie has, has told me over and over and instilled in me in terms of playing. He says, everything you play is a reflection of who you are. And so it's all worthy, it's all beautiful, and it's all it's all worth being in the world. So this is how I do my music. I, I, I you know, Herbie does this night, and I've mostly followed this, though it's not easy to follow as a musician where you, you play and you do a take and that's it. You just let it go. And you know that that's what you're going to let, let go into the world and you know that that's what you're going to release. And you don't try to perfect it because it's all a reflection of our beautiful human nature. For me, I reflect on that in how I treat other people, if we can give each person the utmost respect for their very nature, no matter what they're going through, who they are, it's really hard to do. Uh, let me, let me, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard and it's easy, you know, it's hard to get to that place. But then when you're in that place, it's actually very easy. Um, because that's the truth. Each person is deserving of infinite love and respect because they're conscious and they're living in this life. And that's all that there actually is is our experience of consciousness. Um, I know it's getting a little metaphysical, so sorry, but <laughs> Herbie lives his life this way still. We're so lucky to have him still on this earth. Wayne definitely lived his life that way and, and, and President Ikeda definitely lived his life that way. So if you have any reflections on this of your own life and uh, the challenges or, or ideas or revelations that you, that you have about how you live your life and how you see yourself and see other people with our infinite value and infinite potential as Buddhas, um, please leave it in the comments. Thanks everybody. Hope you're having a great day.